두 번째 질문자입니다. Next question. Thank you for giving me the chance to ask my question. I love my job and luckily I, my coworkers are very supportive. But my job requires me to approve my ability through various evaluation systems all the time. While I try not to be bothered by this pressure too much, I often feel anxious and worried. I talk to myself like it's okay if I would end up quitting the job. I just should do what I can do. But still, sometimes the effort doesn't work well. I would really appreciate it if you could share, um, advise me on how to deal with my anxiety wisely. Yeah. 그만두시고 저희 정태에 들어와서 수행하면 삶이 어떨까 싶습니다. I said uh, you quit your job and come into Jongto and live your life practicing with us. 네. 근데 맛있는 게 먹고 싶고 자동차 타고 싶고 좋은 집에 살고 싶다 하면 뭐 그런 것을 감내할 수밖에 없습니다. But if you want to ride in a nice car, eat tasty foods and live in a nice house then this is something they have to deal with. 그러니까 자기는 오히려 그런 욕심 많은 세계를 부정하는 것 같지만은 자기는 그런 스트레스를 안 받고 좀 편안하고 이렇게 좀 넉넉하게 살수 있는 더큰 사실은 욕심을 갖고 있는 거예요. So, you know, on the surface on one end it seems like you are actually denying and criticizing this desire uh, driven society you live in. But on the other hand, you're actually being even more greedy because you want to live in this society yet not be stressed out by the demands put on you by this society. 제가 아무런 욕심이 없다 하더라도 If I don't say I don't have any desires. 우리가 펜을 갈라 가지고 만약에 축구나 어떤 게임을 한다고 합시다. But say that uh, we engage in some kind of game, a sport game, so it's a kind of soccer. 그러면 그 게임에 참여 안 하든지 했다면 최선을 다해야 될거 아니에요. So then I choose I can choose not to participate in that game but if I choose to participate then I have to do my best to win. 축구를 차는데 나는 뭐꼭 이겨야 될 필요가 없다 해서 축구 안 차고 그냥 가만히 있어요. Because if I'm participating in the game and I'm a player and all of a sudden I can't tell myself that you know what I don't care who wins and you know I'm just going to let this ball pass by me. 그럼 아예 참여를 안 해야죠. And if that's your attitude, then you shouldn't have started participating in the game in the first place. 참여를 했으면 내가 가진 능력으로 최선을 다해서 뛰어야죠. But once you have decided to participate in the game, then you got to do your best. 그러나 you know, play to your utmost abilities. 그러나 졌다고 이걸 가슴 아파할 필요는 없다는 거예요. But what I'm saying, but you may have lost, the, you may lose the game, but you don't have to be heartbroken over that loss. 어, 운동 잘했다 이렇게 생각해야 되는 거예요. And think to yourself, you know what? That was a good exercise for me. 이 목적은 이기는 데 있는 게 아니라 운동이 있기 때문에. Because the objective for you is not to win the game, but it's to exercise. 음, 직장에서 경쟁을 하고 있으면 그냥 같이 하면 돼요. And if you're competing in your job in some kind of system or evaluation competition, just engage in those. 어, 그러나 그 결과 평가에 대해서 연연할 필요가 없다는 거예요. But don't be too attached to the results of that evaluation. 어, 뭐 어떤 사람이 더 좋게 평가받으면 축하해 주면 되는 거예요. If somebody else had outdid yourself, you, uh, your evaluation, then congratulate them. 어, 내가 좋게 평가받으면 다른 이에게 아이고 미안하다. 어, 이거 평가가 이래 나왔어. 뭐 어쩔 수 없다. 내 앞에 갈게. 이러면 되는 거예요. And if you got the better evaluation, then you, you, know, you apologize to your colleague. Say, hey, this is how it came out. You know, uh, I'll get promoted first, but I'll see you later. 음, 그러니까 이것은 경쟁이기 때문에 스트레스를 받는 게 아니라 노력은 적게 하고 결과를 좋게 갖겠다는 욕심 때문에 스트레스를 받는 거예요. So you're not being stressed out just because this is a competitive and there's a system evaluation. You're being stressed out because you don't want to put in as much effort that it would take for you to receive a good evaluation. 그러니까 바깥으로 드러난 걸 보지 말고 본질을 정확히 보라는 거예요. That's why you have to, you can't just linger on the surface symptoms of your suffering. You have to go deep and look at the essence of what's causing this.
더 질문 있으면 하세요. If you have any follow-up questions, please go ahead. 초점이 잡혔나요? Are you focused better now? Thank you so much, Sunim. I I really wanted to find the essence of this this situation because sometimes I unnecessarily scolded myself too much, and the other day. I just try to work too much, not sleeping. So I really wanted to find the real causes and like wanted to see the situation with a very correct eyes. I really appreciate your advice. I think I found the answer. 네, 게임을 할때 <웃음> 무리하게 뛰어서 게임이 끝나고 나서 며칠가 나쁘다 하면 이게 잘못된 거 아니에요? Right, so if you're playing a game, if you overdo it and you become sick, you know, a couple of days afterwards, then you're not playing the game right. 이건 운동인데, 운동인데 승패에 너무 집중함으로 해서 자기를 해친 거예요. Because it's an exercise, it's a game, but you're too focused, attached the results on who wins or loses. That's why you overdid yourself, overexerted. 근데 이것은 게임인데 자기는 뭐. 어, 나는 그런 경쟁 안 한다 해가 가만히 서 있거나 안 움직였다 그러면 이거는 운동을 안한게 되는 거예요. But you know, if it's a soccer game, then you go in as a player, but you stay still because you feel like you don't feel like participating in that game, then you basically did not exercise. 우리가 최선을 다한다고 스트레스를 받는다 하는 것은 최선을 다하기 때문에가 아니라 욕심 때문에 그렇습니다. So if you give it all and you're still stressed out. Then you're not stressed out just because you gave it all. You're stressed out because you are greedy over the results. 그다음에 체력이나 자기 능력을 넘어서 과잉 투자를 해서 몸이 지치거나 정신이 지친다면 이것 또한 승패에 너무 집착해서 욕심을 냈기 때문입니다. And if you have overexerted beyond your limitation or capabilities, then you're also attached too much on the end result. 음, 그래서 최선을 다하되 결과에 연연하지 않으면 뭐 그렇게 스트레스를 받지 않습니다. So if you do do your best, but you're not too attached over the results, then you won't be too stressed out. 소감 얘기해 주세요. Then let's hear from the second question. Thank you so much for today's um, words. I realized that my anxiety was more driven by um like not putting all my best to what i was supposed to do and so it was also driven by some of my probably some habit personality that bar you that was obsessed on the the result my achievement around my work i really appreciate that you helped me to see the truth these days thank you so much yeah. 일하는 거는 최선을 다하는 건 내가 할수 있는 일이고 평가는 상사가 하는 거지 내가 하는 게 아니에요. Doing your best in your work is something you can do, but the results of evaluation is not something you can do. It's you know it's up to your evaluators, your supervisors. 좋은 평가를 내주세요. 이거는 상대의 권리를 침해하는 거예요. So if you ask them, you know, for a good evaluation result, you're actually interfering with their space. 또 그들이 내가 원하는 것대로 들어주지도 않아요. And they probably will not do what you ask them to do, anyways. 그러면 나만 그 사람들에게 눈치를 보고 목을 매달고 살아야 되니까 내가 어리 되는 거예요. So basically, then you are creating, you are becoming small in front of them by creating a power dynamics that you don't really necessarily have to. 일을 하는 건 나의 일이고 평가란 그들의 일이다 이렇게 탁 놓고 일을 하셔야 됩니다. So basically, you have to engage in your work by saying that you know what I do what I can. And they do what they need to do. 우리가 게임을 할때 최선을 다하지만은 심판은 그, 그 그거에 대한 평가는 심판이 하는 거지 내 일이 아니잖아요. For example, we play a sports game. We do everything how we, you know, do our best. But it's a referee that makes the final decision. 물론 심판이 가끔 편파적이라서 불만이 생길 때도 있습니다. Of course, some referees are not as good as others. They might be biased. 그러나 우리는 심판의 판단을 수용하는 것이 지금 기본입니다. However, one of the basic rules of playing a game is that you know you referees have their own inherent authority. 네, 이 문제에 대해서 혹시 자기 견해나 질문 저기 소감 있으면 얘기해 주세요. And if anybody in the audience has any comments or questions about this second question, please go ahead. 
네, 나중에 아, 저 질문들 했었네요. 아, uh, yes. Uh, well, uh, listening to the second questioner, I was reminded of how I was. I, I always used to be very anxious when I was working. Uh, uh, so I and but I realized, uh, I think through through uh, your talks and through practice that it was my greed. I wanted to have the best evaluation possible, so that's why I was very anxious. So uh, today's talk reminded me of that. Thank you. 얘기하세요. 얘네. Go ahead. I think the um, both the first question and to some extent the second question are really about our expectation of reward. And sometimes we don't have we our expectation isn't the same as how we are evaluated, whether we're evaluated for money or whether we're evaluated for praise or it's our you know commercial value versus our inherent value um i think this is what makes us unhappy nothing it doesn't meet our expectation of um our value and we think we should get more money or more praise or have won the competition and sometimes that's judged fairly and we go, okay, that's fine. And but other times we feel it's a little unfair. Um, really, it is what it is, <laughs> whatever the judges are. So um, I just think those two um, topics were very similar, like that. Mm. You know, I'm finished. Yeah. Oh, some evaluation, some results, some rewards could be unfair. 또두 번째는 내가 지나친 기대에 따른 실망일 때도 있습니다. Second, it is true that our own expectation sometimes is the cause of our disappointment. 어 이게 부당하다 이게 정말 사회적 정의로 봐서 내 내가 아니라 누가 봐도 부당하다 할 때는 우리는 어, 정의롭게 하기 위해서 투쟁을 해야 합니다. And if we've so, you know, if we view that situation, even if it's my own situation, as unjust from looking at it from a society's perspective, even though it's my own situation, it's we all almost owe it to ourselves and others to protest against the injustice. 우리가 사회 구성원으로서 사회적 정의를 실현할 책임이 있습니다. Because we have obligation and responsibility as a member of this society to try to rectify any injustices that we see. 그러나 많은 경우 나의 주관적인 지나친 기대가 원인일 때도 있습니다. However, in many cases, perhaps it's my own misplaced sense of my own self-worth or expectations that caused a sense of unfairness. 어, 그럴 때는 어, 그 욕심이구나 하고 알아차리고 어, 자기를 그 마음을 다스리는 게 필요합니다. Then in that in that case, you know what's needed is to that insight to recognize that it is greed on my part. And 두 개를 try to 어떻게 that. 구분하느냐 이게 헷갈릴 때도 있지 않습니까? 이런 질문이 나올 수도 있습니다. Of course, a natural follow-up question is the you know how do you tell the difference? 그럴 때이 부당한 것에 대해서 화가 나는 게 아니고 아 이거는 개선돼야 될 거다 할때 화나지 않는 상태에서 개선을 해야 노력은 좋습니다. So one way to tell is that you don't get angry at the injustice, but you create, there's an aspiration for you to change and in affect the injustice without getting angry. 화가 날 때는 첫째, 자기 욕심일 경우가 많고, 두 번째는 개선을 하는데도 효과적이지가 못합니다. Because if you get angry, oftentimes one is based on your own greed or misplaced expectation, and second, Anger is not an effective means to change. 그래서 부처님께서는 항상 평화적으로 하라 이렇게 말씀하신 겁니다. That's why Buddha always urged a peaceful change. 아무것도 하지 말고 그냥 다 수용하라, 복종하라 이런 뜻이 아닙니다. That doesn't mean that you have to be static and accept everything that comes your way. 그 수행이 자체 잘못하면 굴복하고 복종하는 노예근 생을 심어줄 위험도 있습니다. Because in some way, if you go about spiritual practice in the wrong way, it actually 
gives you a different, it's a wrong sense of being having to be obedient and obeisance to others. 수행자는 마음이 위축되거나 비굴해서는 안 됩니다. Because a practitioner should never feel put upon or or small in front of others. 여러분들이 이렇게 이제 수행에 가면서 이게 조금 이제 시행착오를 거듭하면서 관점을 바로 잡아갈 수 있을 겁니다. And as you walk this path of the spiritual practice, you know there will be ins and outs, and you will make mistakes as you find the right perspective. 어 무조건 수용을 하는 것은 자칫 잘못하면 이 기득권자, 권력층의 이 사회적 지배를 합리화할 요소도 매우 많습니다. Because if you mistakenly take the teaching to says to have to accept everything, then you are in effect helping to justify the current power structure and feed into the elitist power structure we currently live in. 역사적으로 보면 종교가 왕권과 결탁해서 널 권력의 지배를 합리화하는 그런 역할을 많이 해왔습니다. Because historically, major religions have we have formed allies, political allies, with the political elites and the kings, in order to act as a way to rationalize, you know, their lordship over the others. 또 사회 정의를 내세우면서 mm. 폭력적으로 또 어, 행동한 적도 있습니다. And oftentimes, major religions, you know, engaged in violence in the name of social justice. 부처님의 가르침은 어, 마음의 평화를 유지하고. 평화적인 방법으로 꾸준히 사회적 정의를 위해서 노력을 해라라고 말할 수 있습니다. So Buddha's teaching essence is for you to maintain a peace of mind yourself, and based on that peace, engage and strive constantly to better the social justice in the world. 물론 그게 잘 되지는 않습니다. Of course, that's not an easy route. 그렇게 연습이 필요한 거예요. That's why we need practice. 네, 